Dame Lillard, you know, comes into the bubble and 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 basically single-handedly carries Portland into the playoffs. And now they get the Lakers in this first round. Do you see a scenario here where LeBron could be in trouble in round one against a Portland team that has played really well over the last two weeks? I, I think they're gonna, uh, the Blazers are going to make some noise. I, I feel like the Lakers can figure it out. Uh, they're a very good basketball team. Uh, they've earned the, the, the spot. And for us talking about them winning the championship for a reason, that being the Lakers. The Blazers, they're playing unbelievable. They're going to need... C.J. McCollum to continue to play like he's playing, Carmelo to play like he's playing, and they're going to need this guy by the name of Nurkic to play the, the, the style of basketball, the way he played with a, a 2020 game. They're going to need that for an entire series, I say at least six to seven games. Uh, the, the Lakers will figure it out. Uh, you know, If they have an injury, they being the Lakers have an injury, that's where the concern comes in my, in my opinion. I, I, I think if the Lakers are healthy, They'll pull this off in, in, in six. Okay, six games, Lakers, round one. Dame and Yusuf Nurkic, again, just went through. His grandmother just died of COVID, went out and played right. great in that game that they needed it, and so on they come as hot as can be. I want to ask you about the other big-time West Conference contender, and that is the Clippers. Kawhi Leonard mm -hmm. could win a championship for a third different franchise. He would be the first player ever to win finals MVP for three different teams if, if that were to happen. What right. do you think a third championship would mean for Kawhi? Uh, a third championship for Kawhi will just bump him up to that next level of, uh, of the upper echelon of basketball players in the history of the game. I'm not going to say the greatest. I mean, we know there's a, there's a lot of guys. Uh, there's three guys right now in that conversation. And, and I think LeBron wins. He, he bumps himself up to that next level. But Kawhi now puts himself in the conversation of, of – one of the, uh, the the greatest players uh, in, in, in our league's history because of what he can accomplish, particularly if he wins MVP as well. Well, my ears just perked up. Who are the three players in your mind who are on that level? Come on, Green. You know the three. Well, MJ, Kobe, and I think LeBron are, are right there. And, and you know, I, I still think MJ is, is you know, the, the greatest. And Kobe is, uh, you know, I mean, there's the debate that could toss with. depends on what week you're talking about this. And LeBron wins another one. You put him right there in that conversation, uh, a, a one step closer, let me say. And now Kawhi, you win three championships, three MVPs. He's now a conversation piece as well. Wow, that's a really interesting point. And look, I don't disagree. And, and consider the teams he'd be doing it with. Toronto, Absolutely. who never made it to the finals without him. The Clippers, who've never made it to a conference final without him, and obviously still haven't. But if he were to win the championship for those franchises, it's not like winning them for the Celtics or the Lakers. Okay, one more thing I really want to Well, let me say you. this, Green. Yeah. Which, I want to say this real quick, but, you know, I, I want to be clear. What you what you do, what, ha what will happen is you open the door for that conversation. Right. I'm not saying... He's right there, but the door is now open because you start looking at the list and you say, wait, wait, who else has done this? And just like the, what you just read off, that's an unbelievable accomplishment. I get it. I, I don't disagree at all. I think it's actually a very interesting thought. All right, looking forward to keep doing this through the playoffs. I do want to ask you one more thing today. Uh, Zion Williamson is someone that I, I and everyone has found fascinating, obviously, coming into the league with all of this hype and all of the sensation that has surrounded him. And I remember once upon a time when that was you. Obviously, you had been in college, so you were a little older than he is during this rookie year, but you were half man, half amazing, and all of that attention. What advice would you offer to him about dealing with all of that attention and all of that hoopla surrounding such an incredibly young person? Well, Greeny, I'm going to start by saying this. The, the, the st young stars that are coming into the league today, whether it's football, basketball, or otherwise, they have the advantage over what we uh, older players had, and that's social media, out of in high school. So he's used to the attention in the bus. So they've handled, and I say Trey Young, uh, Zion, John Morant, these guys have handled uh, stardom and all the fame and the pressure that comes with towards them and with that, for a very long time, coming out of high school. Uh, but for him, my advice with him, to him would be, hey, the game is there, your confidence is there, but get your body right. Get your body right, get healthy. And I say, when he can get healthy, he can, he can take off to the next level. He will elevate because he's now healthy and he can do everything he needs to do in the summer to get right. 
Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.